As coronavirus cases and deaths continue to climb, scientists around the globe are hard at work discovering more and more about this highly contagious virus. So what do we know now about COVID-19 that we didn't just a mere three weeks ago? Our chief health editor, Dr. Parthenandi, joins us now to answer that question, Doc. But Alan, you know, science has uncovered a lot about the virus, right, and the disease that it, it causes, and we know this is COVID-19. So it's not surprising that information about it is really evolving and changing almost by the minute. Now, one thing new research has shown is that people with asthma are not being hit as hard as expected. Based on New York data, asthmatics are not only accounting for now roughly 5% of fatal cases. In fact, asthma didn't even make New York's top 10 of chronic Captain list of chronic health conditions that people had when they passed from COVID-19. So what conditions actually make the list? Well, I'll tell you from, from the top. Number one was hypertension, followed by diabetes, high cholesterol, coronary artery disease, dementia, atrial fibrillation, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, also known as COPD, kidney disease, cancer, and congestive heart failure. Now, other research has actually linked obesity to severe coronavirus disease, especially for young adults. And unfortunately, we're also finding emerging data that shows that African Americans and Hispanic Americans are being hit much harder than other racial groups. So anyone who falls in those categories really needs to be extra vigilant when it comes to protective measures like hand washing, social distancing, and disinfecting. So we really have to be careful. Developing patterns about who is hit the hardest we see there. Um, what have we learned about how easily the virus spreads? So Glenda, we, we know that the virus can really spread by, easily be spread by infected person which, who is coughing and sneezing. But researchers now suggest that, that uh, just talking and breathing may also be a mode of transmission and that aerosolized coronavirus particles can potentially hang in the air for up to three hours. Also, past research involving a cough chamber found this, that if a cough was not covered, it could actually potentially travel six feet in a mere three seconds. Now, researchers aren't sure that the coronavirus can travel that same rate uh, you know, and distance, but an inter interdisciplinary research team is about to study this. So it's really important, right? The message is that for everyone to wear a face mask and, and then when we speak, cough or just breathe, the mask will help to keep our potential germs from traveling, which will then help decrease the spread of the virus. The idea is my mask will protect you and your mask will protect me. For a vaccine to come out, but what about some of the promising drugs that we've heard about? Can you talk a little bit about them? Absolutely, this is pretty exciting. We've heard a lot about chloroquine and hydroxychloroquine, you know, both good and bad. I'm sure people have heard different versions. One chloroquine trial in Brazil actually ended early because several patients actually died. A high dose of the drug was linked to arrhythmia, which is another word for an irregular heartbeat. As for hydroxychloroquine, there's some reports have indicated it may be effective. We're, hating, we're waiting to really hear results from an ongoing trial that is currently taking place at the National Institute of Health. Another experimental, experimental drug, and this is exciting, remdesivir has been shown to be highly effective so far. In fact, one particular study, Alan and Glenda, showed that 17 of 30 patients with COVID-19 were actually taken off of life support machines. So to me, that's tremendously exciting. But again, we need more clinical trials to make sure that the drug is safe and effective. Lastly, the FDA recently approved a clinical trial uh, at really looking at stem cells aimed to improve lung inflammation in patients with severe disease. So there's a lot happening and our scientific community is really, you know, gearing up and working uh, very hard. And I fully believe that we'll be able to successfully beat this coronavirus. As I said before, it's going to take, you know, great drugs as well as better testing uh, to be able to get a handle on this. In the meantime, we're all going to do our part and, and do all the social distancing and washing, disinfecting. But I'm confident we'll get, it, get over this and, and beat this virus. All right, Dr. Nandy, thank you so much. My pleasure. And remember, if you have a coronavirus question for the good doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy, at askdrnandy.com, or be sure to send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.